Hi guys, in this video I use a pencil, paint spaghetti, use smart masks and a very tiny needle. I choose this model because of the unusual painting scheme. It's going to be built out of the box and the plan is to have a fairly relaxing and fun build. In the box you get the usual set. So there is instruction, decals, clear parts and two frames with plastic elements. All look pretty good, so let's start it! Starting from the landing gear bay, I removed the pins to have better part fit. I find them too big, so without them it's much easier for me. Aluminium color goes in when I have all parts ready. After the cockpit green, I paint small details with Vallejo paints. The instrument panel decals go on micro set and once dry I add micro sole so they stick to the surface. The oil wash will highlight details. I do not go crazy with details in the cockpit as I plan to have the canopy closed and this will be barely visible. However, decals for the seat belts must have some structure added, so I put them on the masking tape. A lot of elements inside have to be aligned, so before I close the fuselage I check if all goes together well.
because the landing legs are already mounted, uh, the wings assembly is quite tricky. But nothing that can't be done with a little bit of force. Again, I removed the pins from inside of the wings for easier assembly. Joining wings and the fuselage is quite tricky, but it went ok after I sanded down this back section of the wing. The model starts to look like an airplane, and it's time to remove excess glue and plastic from joints. For tiny gaps I use Mr. Hobby Primer. The goal is to keep the panel lines so the gap is not filled flat. The excess can be removed with thinner and the result is quite good I think. A mini saw comes in handy to make room for wing tip lights. Landing lights got chrome color inside and I put them in place. Uh, canopy masks can be made with the pattern provided in the instruction and they help a lot to mask these little windows uh, in the canopy and the uh, wing lights as well. The whole model gets a primer on and after that I put it aside to dry. In this time I work on smaller elements like wheels or exhausts. Going back to the model, I paint steel color on the parts that were made of metal. Part of this color will be visible on the front of the model and wings leading edges, and the rest I'm going to use as a base for chipping. Wings leading edges front part of the engine cover and air intake are covered with so-called spaghetti camouflage pattern. I use selected shapes from the patterns you see here, but I think it can also be done with the brush. Armahobi has some nice reference pictures of this aircraft on their website. 
Based on that, I'm going to make the spaghetti pattern look faded where it was exposed to the sun. I use steel color mixed with a lot of thinner and slowly add few coats. Another useful thing you can find on Arma Hobby's website is camouflage masks. I just printed them on the self-adhesive paper and here we go, I have fairly quick masks to use. By the way, Arma Hobby customer support is also great, they helped me with questions I had on this build. Check out the links in the description of this video as I share some information I got from them. For spots and shapes that can be easily masked, I prefer paint instead of decals. Now, I want to make some paint chipping. It's easy to go too far, especially on such a small scale, so I hope this very little needle is going to help me do fine chips. Before decals, I put a gloss varnish coat on the model and my usual choice for decal solution is Microset and Microsol. To make the exhaust look better, I use AK pencil and gunmetal pigment after.
With grey and desert yellow mix, I try to replicate sun faded paint on the top panels and desert dust. By rubbing with the sanding sponge, I hope to highlight the top edges of the fabric covered parts. With oil paints I try to make colors less uniform. Dry pigments help me to replicate sand and dust around the wheels and all of the spots where I think they may be accumulated. My trick with candle helps to keep the CA glue fresh for longer. All you have to do is to apply a few drops of glue on the wax and then feel free to use it as long as you want. In fact, it is around one or two hours. With the antenna wire mounted, I call this build done. It was not as quick as I expected, mostly because of the complicated camouflage, but anyway, I recommend this kit to anyone who wants to build a desert hurricane. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you have, please give me a like, and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. One more thing, if you like the display base you see on the pictures, make sure you check out the link in the description as I have more of these in my store. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time!